10 things I wish I'd known before I started my PGCE. Um, Um, Number one. Probably that good and bad lessons can happen, uh, that you learn from both of them and you shouldn't dwell on the bad ones. Number two. Depending on the time of the day or even the day of the week, the students will respond differently. If you can spot that pattern early, it helps massively with your planning because you know that you can deliver the right content to match their mood. Number three. My top tip is to have confidence at the beginning of the year to ask um, both teachers inside and outside your department to both formally and informally observe you. That way you can get advice um, on behaviour management with specific children or uh, it might be to have more specific subject knowledge input on your lessons. Number four. I, uh, I really wish I'd uh, known how much of a hit my social life would have taken. Um, I definitely go out a lot less than I uh, used to. Number five. One of the things that you know, isn't going to happen instantly is you're not going to walk into the classroom and immediately be a fantastic teacher. Similarly, your students aren't going to walk in and immediately know exactly what you're trying to teach them. Um, so you need to be patient with them, patient with yourself. Just make sure that you slow down, give yourself the opportunity to just take a breath and be patient. Number six. Be careful how much you volunteer for at the start of your PGC course. It's so easy to spread yourself too thin and your priority must lie with the booking course. Very, very difficult to catch up on any misdevelopment. Number seven. I think in terms of lesson planning, uh, pupils tend to think that tutors want to see absolutely everything, you know, all the bells and whistles, but keep it simple, less is more, and you are the most knowledgeable person in that room, so use yourself. Number eight. Everyone's got their own way of teaching. Um, be a magpie and use what you can, but make, make sure it's right for you. And don't be a carbon copy of someone else. Find your own niche. Number nine. The hardest part about the essay is getting started, so just start writing, and then stay on top of weekly reports. Number ten. I wish I'd made my relationship with the students my top priority. It doesn't mean they have to like you all the time, but it's about mutual respect and admitting when you're wrong and communicating with them. When they have a really good relationship with you, they'll work so hard for you in observations, and more importantly, they'll support you when you're having a rough day.